Hello there. What's going on everybody today? We've got another World of Tanks early look. We are going to be doing an unboxing of three tanks from the latest wave. Thanks to Gale Force 9 for sending these out for review. If you guys are new here to the channel, I do run giveaways all the time. I actually have two going on right now. One for a $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or uh, one of my videos. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite tank is. Also, uh, we are going to be giving out some in-game codes. That's gonna be happening in my Discord. We're gonna have links in the Discord down to uh, in the description below. We have a giveaways channel in there and all you have to do is react and you'll get tagged if you win. So uh, yes, yeah, so we'll be giving away three uh, of these particular codes. So you have lots of chances to win. That being said, we're going to be looking at the Panzer III. We're also going to be looking at the M10 Wolverine and the Sherman VC Fireflies for World of Tanks. If you haven't already, also, I will put some links towards the end of the video so you can check out more information on World of Tanks. Let's get these unboxed. All right, so first up is the Panzer III. This tank is... Uh really pretty there is so much detail on this thing now these all do come primed uh in a a different color representative of their respective nations and uh you can either keep them uh in their particular gray or green or beige or whatever color they come in or you know you can use this as a primer and go ahead and start applying paint or washes or something like that um, one of the cool things about painting tanks is you don't usually have to you know, do that much crazy detail. Uh, sometimes, you know, just painting the, uh, uh, painting the track and putting some washes in the wheels and maybe a, like a little bit of a light wash over top uh, can do it. Maybe some decals if you want to put like a bumper number on there or something like that. That can work too. I saw some really cool lightning based paint jobs that were shared on social media. Um, Gale Force 9 actually shows a lot of off a lot of really cool paint jobs. So if you do have one, I'd love for you to share it. Uh, share it in my Discord uh, or tag me on Twitter or something like that. It'd be um, awesome. Uh, here is the Panzer III card. It's got three fire, firepower, no survivability. Uh, three for mobility though, that is very nice. And initiative eight, so wow, that's really high initiative. Uh, he's gonna have four hit points, commander, gunner, driver, radio operator, and loader. Uh, he's a medium tank with uh, 30 costs uh, and uh the upgrades we're going to get uh the uh, five centimeter kwk 39 l60 we're going to get uh 3.7 centimeter i'm not reading all the names for that there's a whole lot of abbreviations we've got uh dead eye we've got preventative maintenance and then we have albrecht dahl who uh gives you concealment and recon Cool stuff. And of course, the turret does move. We do have full range of motion on that as well. All right, next is the Sherman VC Firefly. You can't take the sky from me. I swear to you, by my pretty pink bonnet, I will end you. This thing is, uh, look at the size of the barrel on this thing. It is massive absolutely massive barrel on this thing. I almost thought it was a tank destroyer, but this is a medium tank. And this one is um, actually pretty impressive. If you look at the stats, uh, you know, most of the firepowers uh, tends to be much, much lower. This one is a firepower of six. I, I honestly, I didn't even think they, they came that high in this game. Um, I know like you, there there is a maximum of, I believe six defense dice you can roll. I'm not sure if there's a maximum as far as attack dice that you can roll. That's very, very high. Um, he's only initiative six, which is still not bad. Uh, has a survivability of one, mobility of two, um, five hit points, commander, gunner, driver, and loader slash radio operator, but the cost is a little bit more significant there at 54 points. And uh, the Sherman is a medium tank here. Uh, if you wanna bring that cost down a little bit, we've got the 75 millimeter gun. Uh, which is a negative 14 point cost. I mean, that makes it still a four firepower, which is still not bad. If your if points become a necessity, you've got the heavy ACPR shell. Um, oh my goodness, that's in base five or greater. Wow. Um, we've got the coated optics, 
Um, you've got Concealment. And you've got Aaron Merrick, who has Signal Boosting and Relaying. I love that it tells you all this, uh, the ability text beneath it instead of just giving you keywords that you'd have, then have to go and look up. But yeah, this one is pretty impressive. I, I like it. I like it a lot. And last but not least, it's the M10 Wolverine. This one has lots of little armored divots and, and greebles and extra little bits. Um, detailed all around. Very nicely done. This one is actually a tank destroyer, so not a medium tank like the other two that we've looked at today. It does also have kind of the open topped convertible uh, designed uh, turret that we've got here. Um, looking at the artwork, uh, it does kind of appear that there should be a 50 cal machine gun on the back of that one. This one uh, certainly has the spot for it. Mm, so it wouldn't be hard to kind of put something in there. I'm curious uh, if any of you guys get one of these. Also, let me know if yours has the machine gun or not, or if that's just, uh, that might just be kind of how they are. I bet you there's an upgrade in here. I haven't even looked at the upgrades yet uh, for it. But of course, they're definitely, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go, right? There's some, but we have the, uh, like, kind of like the closed top if you want to take the top down as far as upgrades. So uh, it'll be kind of cool, cool options for hobbyists out there that maybe want to put, like, a closed top on there and things like that which is also very cool. And the M10 Wolverine does have a uh, pretty high firepower as well, uh, coming in at four firepower. Uh, it does have one survivability, uh, which isn't bad considering it'll get an extra one if it's in cover. Uh, it has mobility of two and initiative of six. It has four hit points and can take a commander, driver, gun, a radio operator, and a loader, and it comes in at only 37 points. Um, yes, and uh, for our upgrades, we've got the... Uh, we have, again, the uh, the M1 turret module, which ooh, gives you a little extra initiative during the shooting phase. Not bad. Not bad. We've got uh, the 76 millimeter gun. Oh, that's nice. You get an extra, ooh, an extra, extra firepower and initiative. That will be a very nice. Okay. Oh, you got some cola. You got signal boosting. And then we've got Connor Rycroft, designated target and did I? All right. All right. Thank you for watching, and big thanks to Gale Force Nine for sending these out so we could take a look at them. I'd love to hear which one is your favorite. I, mean, I kind of have to, as much as I want to go with the Americans, uh, and I, I will. But I gotta give a lot of cool points to that Firefly because, hey, you know, we're big damn heroes around here. Um, no, very cool, very cool stuff, especially with the six. Freaking firepower, man. That's that's impressive. That's very impressive. All right. So, um, yeah, if you want to see more, definitely check out the links in the description below. Uh, we will be doing the giveaways uh, also on Discord, so be sure to check that out. And I will talk to you guys later. Big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys are awesome and help make this all possible. So thank you for continuing to support the channel. I will talk to you guys soon. I want to thank you so much. And as always, have a great day.